welcome to Female Filmmaker Friday. Today we are going to be talking about taking criticism while a woman. I am going to be discussing this as it pertains to the entertainment industry because I am a writer and an actor and that's what I know, but I'm sure that some of this is pretty universal. So if you're an artist, you are opening yourself up for criticism, period. You get hired on a show, your showrunner might not like something that you write. You are on set and the director says, hey, that doesn't work for, for me. You think you're safely at home and then a fan is like, this was terrible. People criticize. They do. And I think that's true for men and women. But when you are a woman, there's always this like lingering residual question and that is, would you say that to me if I was a man? Followed quickly by, would you say it in that tone if I was a man? And the answer is usually no, or not like that, or not really. So what do you do with that? The answer, unfortunately, is you really do have to learn to take criticism very gracefully. You have to learn to just put that aside, especially at the beginning of your career, and say, okay, I, I know that I like what I did, but someone else has other thoughts. Let's see if there's anything there. So while it's very natural and very normal to feel immediately defensive when someone criticizes your work, I like to take a beat and just give myself the, the allowance, the okay to say like, God, how could they not love my perfect prose? What's wrong with these people? And then come back to it with a little bit <laughs> more calm and start asking, what's here? Maybe I can learn something. Out of the gate, I do my best to ignore any tone of condescending. If it exists in the note, but the note is still worth taking, I just need to suck it up. I might bitch to a friend, but at the end of the day, good note's a good note. If it exists in the note and the note is not worth taking, I can just laugh that off. This person's a moron. I also like to ask, is this constructive? Is this written to build my work up? Or is it just gonna tear me down? I have not fortunately, found that many people are just jerks for no reason. If they're taking the time to sit down and write out a response to your acting or your writing or whatever other art you've produced, they want you to be better. They don't, they don't want you to like just feel bad about yourself. They're trying to be helpful. So in general, I try to approach receiving criticism from that place. This person, whoever he or she is, is just trying to make my work better. I don't have to agree with how they how they think that works, but it isn't an attack on me, and that just it makes everybody friendlier. So I also ask myself, does this feel right? Do I agree with this note? Sometimes it's just not right for your voice or your show or your performance. And obviously if you are in a room and you're on a show and you've been hired to do a job, you can't like fight that fight with the showrunner and just be like, no, my character would never because you can't, uh, especially at the very beginning. You know, you just don't have the cachet to really fight those fights. You can't ignore your boss. But if you're writing for yourself and someone makes a suggestion or points something out and you reflect on it and come away with like, I hear that, I see that, but it doesn't work here. It doesn't work for this. I, that's perfectly valid. That's absolutely okay. My rule of thumb is generally if three or more people have the exact same note, there might be something to it. I should really try to figure out how to fix that thing. But there are other moments where like, let's say I've, I've received a note about my pilot that I just finished and the note was like, I think you need a B plot. And I, th I've thought about putting a B plot in this pilot since day one. And I decided not to do that. I went, I don't like, I don't like that here. I tried it, didn't like it. That's constructive, that's good criticism, that's awesome because I can take it, try it, and then go, no, I don't like that. It's a little bit, I liken it to playing jazz, right? Like, you learn all of the basics, you learn the right moves and structures and notes, and then you break those rules when you see fit. So, that's okay. So, let's get down to the actual reason you were really here. Sometimes, when you were a woman, you will encounter situations where people just talk down to you. Unfortunately, you do need to learn to pick your fights, but if you are in a position to slap that nonsense down, I say do it. And it can be a very simple, I appreciate the attempt to help, 
but I've been doing this job for a very long time now and I do know what I'm doing. I would hope at this point that you can trust me. I think that suffices. This is obviously an enormous topic, so please leave any situations that you've encountered and ways you've combated this down in the comments below and if anything pops up, if you have any other questions, please leave those because I can always address them in future videos. That's it. Thanks guys. Please remember to visit patreon.com slash katehackett if you liked this video and want to see more. Big shout out to my patron Dave Jennings for making sure that this video and other videos like it are possible. If you want to be part of that, visit patreon.com slash katehackett.